Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about mix-ins in less. So, basically mix-ins allow you to reuse CSS styles and rules. So, it behaves similar to a function in a programming language. So, for example, let's just say in your um, in your less file you have a, a class called boarded box. All right. Now in this class, um, you might have a border of something like one pixels solid and then um, blue. And you might also have some padding, uh, for example, 10 pixels. Now using mixins, you're actually able to repeat these two rules across um, your entire less file. All right, so if down here you have a um, an ID selector, for example, main image. You can actually just type out um, boarded box like that. So the class boarded box, and that'll actually insert whatever rules are inside this class. So border and padding inside the main image um, rule set. So you're writing the code once and you're repeating it across the entire file. So if I also just compile this from less into um, CSS here, in the output file, we get that right there. We get the bordered box class with those two properties and also the main image with the same properties inside there. All right, so you can see how if we were to actually go inside here and change this from one to five pixels and then recompile this, we can see in the output, we get five showing up in the main image as well. So you're able to um, write the code once and reuse it multiple times. Now, um, you might see this syntax written um, like this, but you also might see it written like this we have two parentheses at the end of that right there. So that and this does the same thing. So the parentheses are optional right there, okay? Now, let's just say that you don't actually wanna output this class. So in the output file, you actually get the boarded box class being outputted, but what if you don't actually want that? Well, inside less, what you can do is you can actually just put parentheses around the end of that selector right there. And that means, if I was to now compile this, we get um, just the output for the main image itself. So we hide the mixing output by putting parentheses um, just after the selector right there. Now, what's cool about mixins is it actually, um, it sort of resembles a function in programming languages. So um, they actually support arguments and parameters, which means you can actually change the the content of the mixing based on an argument that you actually pass in. So for example, let's just say we have this bordered box and then I say an at for a variable and say width right there. So now this mixing supports a parameter and this is called a parametric mixing. So now I can actually use this width variable throughout this mixing. So for example, let's just say I'm going to copy this width and then put it for the border um, the border width value right there. So border and then width solid blue. For the padding, I'm going to say width and then multiplied by three. Okay, so now this mixing requires you to actually pass in a value inside here. So for example, let's just say that I put two pixels inside there. So now if I was to save and compile this, this less file, in the output, we get two pixels and six pixels for the padding. So we can see how we're passing in the two px from this from this argument into this parameter, and then finally to the actual um, CSS rule values. 
and we're getting 6 here because obviously 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So obviously here the advantage of this is you can actually put um, something like two selectors, for example a secondary image inside here you can call the boarded box mixin again but this time passed in five pixels and now in the output you obviously get five here and then 15 here so once again this emphasizes the fact that mixins are used to sort of write the code once and then reuse multiple times now uh, one last thing they also support uh, pseudo uh, pseudo classes and pseudo elements so if I was to go inside here and then just say the ampersand which means um, this this refers to the parent selector so in this case here an ampersand would mean boarded box if I, it, um, if I say ampersand then a column and then say hover all right inside here I can actually just say border color to red so now any any um, any rule set which uses this mixin now has the hover pseudo class that changes the border color to red obviously when it's hovered over so now if I was to compile this output so uh, this list file the output looks like this we get main image main image hover border color red and the same thing obviously for the secondary image all right and that's how you can use mixins in less. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.